least in Dark Descent, the little blurbs between in loading screens had some kind of... Ew. Made some kind of sense, but these, not so much. Oh. Straw, or hay. To soften the stupid from, you know, jumping down a hole. Naturally, once bled, the product must be scalded, dehaired, and scraped, ready for gambling and evisceration. With this, we pass them through the stream reservoir, which is kept at a constant temperature by passing excess high pressure venting from the engines via the boiler and a series of large copper pipes into a stone chamber just below the workhouse. At the center of the machine, there's a component that must be kept constantly at a consistently low temperature, which controls operations of processing of products throughout the system. Alongside this, refrigeration is of the utmost importance in retaining product quality. This also requires heat to be removed from certain areas of the machine. Two problems are therefore combined into a single solution, the removal of heat from some areas and the requirements for increased heat in others. Conducting panels dry heat using the principles of convection regulated by the boiler and sending freezing air along one set of pipes in one direction and superheated vapors in the other. Okay then. Want to be light? Isn't it dangerous allowing this filthy discharge to collect so close to the core? We can use the flow to drive the turbines. There will always be a torrent of excreta flooding through these tunnels. We can use this to supplement the steam production and ensure constancy. Thick God, the stench! This fecal matter is the true product of the age. Oh boy. Poo. The poo power cometh. What the fuck? Wait. Amnesia. There's not gonna be monsters in the poo water, is there? Aw, oh, you motherfuckers. You are poo water monsters, aren't you? Shut up. Shut up. Can your keys for fatty? piss right off. So, I guess this is the way I have to go. Aha! Note. Several of the older forms have breached their containment area and escaped into the sewers. They remind me of my limitations. There is no... This is no... Chelm, and I am no Eliho. What? At least not quite yet. It is the heat generated from keeping the doorway between... That is to blame. We cannot simply pack them about with coolant as we do the center where the doorway is. The later versions are kept safe by freezing temperature of the towers. So up here, where the hot air, air is hot and fetid, they become overheated. Their duality tears them asunder as the other place flies from their cells and their vitae splinters. They live sporadically, torn from one world to the other and back again in violent, unpredictable bursts. For a few seconds, they are creatures of this world, then they are turned away and cease to have physical form. The species ripping back and forth between worlds has driven them quite insane. I have ordered the affected areas sealed and will not allow my loyal workers to enter. These are damn places now. The abide of failed experiments, ghosts of fear and spite. So, water monsters? Well, 
was once loose gate, but oh god, you again. Why? I'm going as fast as I can, you joke. But it sounds like I have water monsters to frickin' worry about. I'm guessing I have to get in there, but I need to find the other sluice gate first. Uh. So is this gate open now? No, it's just a fence in the way. What? Is it a pig or a water monster? That matters a lot. Because if it's a water monster, I can deal with it. Those things can only get me when I'm, you know, in the water. And I'm not in the water. I don't intend to go in the water if I don't freaking have to. But if it's a pig... Oh, piss off. I have very limited places to run. Where's the other friggin' sluice gate? Oh. Well, hello there. But we can save them. We can set them free. We can replace a rotten old world with a clean new one. Mr. Fernandez, you sound every bit the fanatic. Well, how can I be otherwise, Professor? How can any man of ethics simply stand by and watch this world drown in its own excrement? And your engineer. This visionary with whom you have embarked upon this course, does he share your views? Indeed he does. Indeed he does. The poor fellow has seen it all before. Now, this is not the first great civilization he has wept for. And so you set about things immediately upon your return. Naturally, naturally. These things cannot be left to rot upon the tree. And sponsors were remarkably easy to find. I tell you, Professor, a trail of greed brings rich men to your door like pigs to truffles. Hmm. Ziggy piggy. Is this the other sluice control? Oh, I saw that. I saw that. You're not hiding from me, note. And I said, look, my darlings, can you see it? And they said, yes, daddy, yes, we see it. A tall, weathered cap of a steep-sided pyramid, so like those of Egypt. Stone falling away from the summit. Vines crawling about, intertwining the stucco serpents that thrive about the steps. Palpable sense of stillness, a weight of forgotten. And this here is this is where the king sat. And this is where the priests lived. This house, this house of the dead, and here where the sun strikes, this is where they threw the hearts that were not consumed. No, my darlings, they most certainly were not savages. You see, they believed that the sky could fall up their heads, and they truly, truly believed that offering blood was the only way of stopping this from happening. Perhaps, my darling, perhaps they were mistaken altogether, or perhaps their tragedy was they could simply not spill blood enough to prevent the sky from falling upon them. Hmm. You just got sluiced. Is open now. Mm -hmm. You can just piss right off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Water monster, bitch. Ha uh ha. -huh. You didn't get me. Stay out. Decontamination. I feel pretty. Okay. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Now! Boop. 
something. Those are easy to figure out. Oh, shut up! Are you a pig? Oh, you are a pig. Oh, you're a couple of pigs. Are you guys gonna duke it out? Oh, damn! I wasn't duking out, that was just a bitch slap. I feel sorry for that one now. Jeez, jerk. You right down there, buddy? Yeah, that was not very nice. Whoa. Is he just going to eat? I guess, or... The fuck? Where'd that big jerk go? Where's where there something I can drop on his head? Eh. What? Hello? Hello? What do you- what do you- Are you playing with blocks? Okay. Pigman playing with blocks. I don't know if I want to go in here. Hello? Well, you're a grouchy fellow, aren't you? Solitary. Let me look through that window. Hello, Piggy. Piggy, what are you doing? Not sure. Supposed to sleep in the cage, not on top of it. That does not look comfortable at all. Okay. Down we go. Because down is where I really want to go. I just ain't almost down here. Maybe they're friendly. Except for the one that, you know, bitch slapped his friend. What the fuck? That's a weird design. Uh, down we go! Ow! Or some laudanum when you need it. any sort of healing items, or... I don't have an inventory, even. I'm probably late realizing that, but... I mean, come on. Cut me some slack. I guess I don't use... Yes. Yeah, ah, there we go. God damn it, it's dark. There's a train. Go. 
I see a light. Oh. Okay then. What's this? Hey, bilge pump. From tide to spine, he placed his head in the vise and spun the wheel until his skull cracked. And thoughts leaked onto his shoes. It relieved the pressure for a while, but soon returned. That's nasty. I, I mean, that... that, that uh, that's very nasty.